Hey guys, today's video is all about how to make ankle sprains heal faster and a couple things that you want to avoid. The reason why I'm making this video is because about five days ago I rolled my ankle while running around my house trying to prepare for uh, friends that were coming over. And I'm not really sure how I rolled my ankle, but I rolled it pretty bad and uh, it's pretty black and bruised and, and swollen right now. So here's what my foot looks like, guys. It's, uh, it's pretty black and bruised down here. There's a little bit of uh, bleeding under the skin but the swelling is down because of the way I've been treating it. Now before I get into the details of anything here, I want to preface this video by saying that I'm not a doctor, I'm just a personal trainer and a corrective exercise specialist. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt and always seek out a medical professional's advice. With that being said, I want to go over a couple of ways that you probably do not want to approach the healing of your ankle if you do sprain it. Your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder are all the same. I want to go over very common advice touted by medical professionals and sports trainers everywhere when they see patients or clients that have sprained an ankle or hurt their wrist, you know, hurt their elbow or hurt their shoulder. And what I'm talking about here is RICE. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but the RICE protocol stands for rest ice, compression, and elevation. Those are the four steps that they always tell you to take if you sprain your ankle. Now, I never use the RICE method on myself. I uh, don't find it to be effective for multiple reasons, and I'll go into those really briefly here. Um, first of all, resting your foot, I definitely would recommend that, and I rest my foot too. I rested my foot for about 24 hours after I rolled it. Uh, it was just way too painful to put pressure on it. But as soon as the swelling starts to come down, and as soon as you can move it around, I try to exercise it right away. Try to try to dorsal flex and plantar flex it, uh, which means pulling the, the toes up and pushing the toes down, and tr I try to make circles as much as I can. There's been a lot of research that shows that if you do not move your, your ankle after spraining it, it can actually kind of get frozen in that position. You, you'll lose a lot of range of motion, strength, and flexibility in there. Another thing that could happen is by not moving your ankle around, you can build up scar tissue in there, which will really, really hurt it later on. The second part of rice that I don't like is the ice part. Um, basically, people ice it to bring down the inflammation because that's what they think is hurting them. They think that that will actually help them heal. What they don't understand is that inflammation is the first step in the body's healing process. Your body inflames that area with blood for a reason. It sends a bunch of blood there that is full of uh, nutrients so that the body can actually rebuild the damaged tissues in there. I actually made a blog post a couple months ago about prolotherapy. And basically what that is, is a treatment that doctors of osteopathy use to uh, basically make damaged tissues heal themselves. And what they do is they intentionally induce inflammation inside the tissue so that the body heals itself. And basically that's the same thing that you want to do with your ankle if you sprain it. Maybe ice it for the first, you know, 24 hours just to bring the pain down, but after that you kind of want to let that inflammation run its course so that the tissues can heal themselves. If you ice it and you're continuing to ice it over and over again well after the injury, you're really just slowing down the healing process and you're going to have to deal with that sprain and the symptoms of it for longer and longer. This is the same reason why you don't want to take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and aspirin. These, much like ice, are designed to bring down inflammation. And if you take these, you're just really going to prolong your symptoms. The second half of rice, compression and elevation, I'm actually okay with. Elevation doesn't really do much. They tell you to, to put your foot higher than your heart so that your, so your foot doesn't really swell that much. It doesn't really do that much. But compression, I really like a lot. So the three things that I like to use uh, to basically heal my ankle when this happens to me are active rest or basically rolling around the ankle and doing tiny little exercises that don't aggravate it more after the 24 hour to 48 hour period. Heating the ankle actually. By heating it you force more blood in there which further facilitates the healing. Number three is compression and basically this just involves wrapping a thick band around the ankle to push out all the, the fluid and the lymph in there and then taking it off after about two minutes to allow the fluid to come back in. Hope you found that video helpful guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.